So a viewer on our Tactical Scorpion Gear Spall Liner video suggested that we should show how much spalling you get from just a bare metal plate. So here we have our AR500 brand 3 plus plate you've seen in many videos now. The factory spall coating has been completely shot off. It's just bare metal now. Obviously no spall liner sleeve. We have it bungee corded to a water filled milk jug and we'll be setting this box over top. We'll be taking the same shots we took in the Tactical Scorpion Gear Spall Liner video. Two shots with the 1911, four shots with the AR, and one final shot with the Schmidt Rubin K11 firing 7.5 Swiss. Let's see how much a bare metal plate spalls. First we'll be firing two shots with our 1911. So our two shots with the 1911 produced some fairly significant spalling on all sides of the box, including this large jacket chunk stuck in the edge on the inside. Next, we'll be taking four shots with the AR. So we have some fairly significant spalling from the AR, including the ground at the base of the plate, which is dug out about an inch. If you take a look at the sides, lots of very small shrapnel came off of that plate, and it actually completely blew this side of the box away. Lastly, we'll be shooting the Schmidt Rubin K11, firing 7.5 Swiss. Spalling from the K11 was significant. It almost looks like it cut this side of the box with scissors. And we have large holes all the way around coming off of that plate. This box is absolutely torn apart. So what did we learn today? Well, big shocker, a bare steel plate produces a great deal of spalling. After seeing these results, I'd say the Tactical Scorpion Gear Spall Liner did a pretty good job of capturing spall off that bare steel plate. Thank you for watching.